the National Assembly. But Jabiamila said this while speaking with the media after the meeting between the leadership of the party and members elected into the National Assembly this year. He also explained that the inability of the party to decide on the issue of zoning had nothing to do with the absence of the president-elect Bola Ahmed Chinubu. To assure members that um, uh, uh, in spite of all the odds against the party, uh, um, we were able to overcome and to congratulate everybody. And that's always the first step. Uh, on the issue of zoning that you mentioned, yes, we did talk about, we, it's, we're not there yet. We will have another election coming up, on, coming up this weekend. And uh, we needed to make sure that everybody goes back home, um, roll up your sleeves, you know, get your hands dirty. And that it's not, uh, it's not right yet. We're not there yet and we need to, 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 to complete the victory and our joy, so to speak, on Saturday. And then we can now start talking about leadership of the National Assembly. And that's basically what it was about. Was it because the president elect is not here? That what? That the issue of zoning did not come up? No, 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 no. If the president elect was here, there would, no, there, there would not have been any difference. The question about zoning was that let's, you know, tarry a while, let's leave everything for now um, until we finish our, 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 our we finish the elections. Some are saying that the, the, because some are saying that the party chairman and the secretary should be relieved of their duties at the moment. Was that discussed in the Senate? Not at all. Not at all. But you did hear about it. I didn't hear about it. I read about it. And it's not everything you read that you believe. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't think. Um, I don't think we have that. Uh, uh, we read things. We read all sorts of things in the papers. Um, but, but it's not sure. what wasn't discussed here. I cannot comment on. It. Well, you, you, your name has come up for chief of staff. Oh, I don't know anything about that. that no, we saw it on the episode. Could interest you that I was in Lagos. I could not leave Lagos because I was campaigning for my party. That's number one. It would also further interest you that I was not here four years ago to pick up my certificate. And I couldn't make it. I didn't think it was anything significant. I'll pick up my certificate today or tomorrow. So you choose to retain your seat? <laughs> On his part, Senator Ali Undume, representing Bernou South, said the next government in Nigeria would be a National Assembly government because of the experience of the president-elect and his deputy in legislative matters. The issue of zoning did not come up? No, no, not yet. The is it issue... because the president-elect is not here? No, 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 not at all. The president-elect is a parliamentarian. He has more experience than most of us. And coincidentally, and, um, you know, what does his things in the world? This, the Nigerian government now is going to be the National Assembly government. The uh, president is a, was a senator. The vice president was a senator. Um, the party chairman was a senator. The national party chairman, the secretary of the party was a senator. So I believe that this time around we are going to have a rancorous, uh, I mean, a rancorous, uh, Relation, free relationship. So now that the leadership issues have been placed aside temporarily before the elections are get concluded, will this issue be revisited in the government? Well, I don't know, but you know, um, I'm expecting. Yeah, you're asking me this question because I'm a, one of the veterans. That, but what I'm saying is, and it still remains, is that the members of the National Assembly should produce their leadership based on who they think is the best, and also considering uh, the issues at stake and putting in place or ahead justice, fairness, equity. Well, the main concern is that the president is saying he has no candidate, he's not going to back anybody. The main concern is that we are heading back to 2015 when the no, 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 I don't. take over the leadership of the National Assembly. No, I don't think so. I think the president, at the appropriate time, uh, take a decision, that is what he is saying, or advise as appropriate, and that is the best thing to do. But we are able to present our gubernatorial candidates to the people so that on that day they will come out victorious. So has a decision been taken on the zoning? Uh, it's a family affair. This is not the right time to talk about zoning. All we need now is to consolidate on our victory. We have won the presidential. And we should be able to at least 
take a minimum of 30 states. Some rights activists also said that um, the national chairman be removed. Is that something you support? I'm not aware of that. It wasn't discussed in any way? I'm not aware of that. Nothing like that has been discussed. So when are you going to discuss the outcome of this meeting to the president? After the gubernatorial election, we are going to gather again, and by then we take stock of what we have achieved. And then from there, the zoning system, uh, the zoning uh, formula that the party wants to adopt will be given out. And uh, the party, I feel that all members, just like what used to happen before now, democracy is all about party supremacy. And we believe that whatever the party decided is what we are going to do. Meanwhile, the ruling APC secured majority seats in both the Senate and House of Representatives at the February 25 polls.